managerial accounting calculation of average product cost. Now the calculation of average product cost is pretty straightforward. We simply take the total product cost And remember that total product cost includes direct materials used, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead, the indirect factory costs uh, incurred in making a product. So we take all of those costs, the total product cost, and then we divide those by the number of units produced during a period. And that's going to that's going to give us our average product cost per unit. Now, this calculation assumes that the uh, number of units started and completed during the period is the same. Now, but what if we had work in process at the beginning of the period that was only partially complete, and then we added materials, labor, and overhead this period, but we still had some units that were partially incomplete at the end of the period. In that case, instead of just taking the total product or manufacturing cost of materials, labor, and overhead incurred this period, rather we would substitute up here for product cost the cost of completed units for the period, which of course is cost of goods manufactured. Cost of goods manufactured. Now in a job order costing system, what we're going to be looking at is going to be the cost of the job for the period. And we may want to calculate an average cost of units produced for a particular job so that we know how to price out those units on a per unit basis. So remember in a job cost we're going to be charging the actual cost of direct materials incurred for that job, the actual cost of direct labor incurred for that job, but something unique that we're going to learn in this particular chapter is instead of charging actual manufacturing overhead cost to the job, we're going to be charging applied manufacturing overhead. Applied manufacturing overhead. So that's going to be unique to this particular chapter on job order costing. And that's the next thing that we're going to talk about in the next video.